the oct examination provides us very nice information about the retinal diseases as it can show us the retina in cross section and that very well demonstrates the changes in various layers of the retina so we'll see what does a oct in a central serous retinopathy looks like Just for reference, this is a normal OCT and as you can see here, there are layers of retina and we can also see the foveal dip which is present in the macular area and this is absolutely normal demonstrating all the layers separately including the nerve fiber layer and the most reflective layers that is the retinal pigment epithelium. Now this is the OCT of a CSR patient and as we can see the layers of retina are separated and the pseudo color coded image also shows a thickening between the retinal pigment epithelium and internal limiting membrane. When we look closer, when we look closer, we find that there is a cystic clear space between the retinal pigment epithelium and the neurosensory retina centered at the foveal area. On further magnification, we can also appreciate the changes in the retinal pigment epithelium, which shows some PED, which are clear fluid containing spaces in the retinal pigment epithelium and blister shape. And this, these are the findings which you can see in a central serous retinopathy in any of the given patients. Although the pigment epithelial detachment may or may not be present. Thank you.